In this topic, we are going to discuss about specific implications of national culture on human resource management issues. And in this topic, we are going to uh, we are going to talk about the staffing issues that how different countries and different cultures deal with the human resource management process of staffing, recruitment, and selection of employees. Uh, in advanced countries, uh, the staffing takes place with sophisticated techniques uh, and the reason behind uh, this particular phenomena is, there, is that managers, they have got a high level of professionalism. Uh, in advanced countries, uh, staffing ke liye, um, recruitment ke liye or selection ke liye advanced techniques jo hain wo istemal ki jati hain uski wajah ye hai ke managers jo hain wo uh, highly professional hote hain uh, unko recruitment karne ka style pata hota hai unko ye pata hota hai recruitment ke liye kya zaruri hota hai aap batayi there are two things that are need to be uh, taken into account ek to ye ke job description kya hai kis cheez ke liye kis kaam ke liye aapne recruitment karni hai aur dusra ye ke uske liye person specifications kya honi chahiye yani aapne agar koi kaam karwana hai koi task karwana hai to uske liye person ki kya knowledge skill abilities honi chahiye yani uski educational qualifications kya honi chahiye uski physical requirements kya honi chahiye aur uske attitudes or the right kind of attitude is also most important so ye cheeze jo hain ye recruitment ke liye required hain so man ko agar bahut achhe tarike se sophisticated tarike se usne job description ko craft kiya hua hoga aur uske mutabik person person specifications ko specify kiya hua hoga to jo person job fit hai wo create karna ek aasan aur smooth tarike se ho sakta hai aur uske liye phir aap sophisticated tools istemal kar sakte hain because there is a possibility ki person organization and person job fit create karna jo hai wo possibility uski high hai so the managers they have a high level of professionalism and they know how to describe the job description as well as the person specification uh, then the second important factor is that the management is goal oriented aap recruitment ya selection isliye nahi karte ki aapne apne kisi rishtedar ko rakhna hai ya aapne kisi reference ko rakhwana hai un logon ko rakha jata hai un logon ko hire kiya jata hai jinke jo jo ke kaam kar sakte hain because the management is goal oriented they are not concerned about the employees they are concerned about achieving the goals so that is why sophisticated selection techniques can be employed and then uh, formal procedures such as assessment centers they are available in the advanced countries uh, because uh, the advanced countries and uh, corporations and companies in the advanced countries they spend a lot of money on these human resource aspects because they are affluent they have more money they have more profits uh, they have uh, higher sales and turnover that is why they can uh, invest on these human resource aspects and therefore they invest on these assessment centers to unke uh, ह्यूमन रिसोर्स के अंदर असेसमेंट सेंटर्स जो हैं वो मौजूद होते हैं जो कि सेपरेट फैसिलिटीज़ हैं जहाँ पे वो रिक्रूटमेंट के लिए लोगों को कॉल इन करते हैं और उनको डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज़ करवाते हैं और फिर उनकी वो स्टाइल उनके एटीट्यूड्स उनके बिहेवियर्स और उनकी प्रोफिशेंसी जो है वो असेसमेंट सेंटर्स में असेस की जाती है और फिर ये कि उनकी सिलेक्शन की जाती है Uh, whereas on the other hand in many industrialization uh, industrializing nations uh, selections are made by informal networks aur uski wajah kya hai yahi cheeze ke professionalism zyada hai industrialized nations ke andar wahan pe techniques available hain wahan pe log goal oriented hain so is wajah se jo industrializing nations hain ya less developed nations hain वहाँ पे बिकॉज ये सब चीज़ें अवेलेबल नहीं होती इस वजह से इनफॉर्मल नेटवर्क्स के थ्रू सिलेक्शंस की जाती हैं दैट इज़ बिकॉज द इन इनफॉर्मल नेटवर्क्स पे सिलेक्शंस क्यों की जाती हैं एक तो पहली बात ये कि लैक ऑफ स्किल्ड ह्यूमन कैपिटल जो है वो 
the availability of skilled human capital is low uh, you know uh, that uh, skilled human capital that comes from the affluence and uh, that comes from the strength of the uh, of the national economy and uh, how much you are able to spend on educating other people uh, educating your nation so if uh, that is not there then there is going to be a lack of skilled human capital to jab aapke paas skilled log available hi nahi hai to aap kahan se phir sophisticated techniques bana bhi lenge to phir kisko hire karenge kyunki aapke paas to skilled human capital nahi hai available uh, so that is why you have to resort to hiring through uh, informal networks then there is lack of sophisticated sele- selection techniques uske upar bhi aapko pata hai ke इन्वेस्टमेंट करनी पड़ती है उसके लिए आपके स्पेशलाइज्ड ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजर्स होने चाहिए एक्सपर्ट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट होना चाहिए और वही जो मैंने बात की कि आपको अपनी जो जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन है और पर्सन स्पेसिफिकेशन है उसके अंदर मैच कैसे करना है उनको प्रॉपरली डिफाइन कैसे करना है अगर आपकी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजर्स इतने स्किल्ड और एक्सपर्ट नहीं हैं तो फिर आपकी जो टेक्निक्स हैं सिलेक्शन की वो एडवांस नहीं हो सकती then pure communication mechanisms for example jo less advanced countries hain wahan pe uh, uh, jo job dhoondna uh, hai ya job ko promote karna hai usko advertise karna hai wo ek bahut uh, mushkil tarike se kiya jata hai there are poor uh, communication mechanism for example advanced countries mein to uh, there are uh, there, there are organizations which actually uh, recruit people for different organizations then uh, there are ways of communicating there are informal networks there are databases um, there are places where you can go and find jobs then jobs are advertised in the newspapers properly uh, whereas in less developed countries the c- communication mechanisms that the availability of job is there for particular requirements that is particularly low so logon ko pata nahi chalta ki kahan pe kaun si vacancies jo hain wo available hai. and that all is then reflected in lack of technological advances so technology jo hai wo aapko pata hai ke uh, har tarah ke different human resource function ko support karti hai isi tarah se ye recruitment selection ko bhi support karti hai jo advanced countries hain wahan pe uh, bahut sari recruitment aur selection online bhi hone lag gayi hai लेकिन जो लेस डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज़ हैं वहाँ पे इसका ट्रेंड अभी इतना नहीं है या लोग जो हैं वो रिलक्टेंट होते हैं कि ऑनलाइन सिलेक्शन या रिक्रूटमेंट को करने के बारे में रिलक्टेंट होते हैं बिकॉज दे आर नॉट श्योर कि जो राइट काइंड ऑफ पूल है वो ऑनलाइन आप लोगों को आपकी कंपनी को अप्रोच करेगा या नहीं करेगा सो पीपल इन द लेस एडवांस कंट्रीज दे आर स्टिल रिलक्टेंट टू यूज द टेक्नोलॉजिकल डिवाइस एंड टूल्स विच आर अवेलेबल टू यू इन इन हेल्पिंग to uh, to conduct uh, selection and recruitment in a more sophisticated way uh, and this should not be compared to nepotism jab informal networks ko aap use karte hain aur aap is tarah se informal hiring karte hain to iska nepotism se taluk nahi hai it's just because in a particular uh, country and a culture uh, people are just not available and all because of all these factors that we have just discussed we the 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 hirers or the recruiters they have to induct people uh, in the form of informal networks uh then there are different variations beyond this industrialized or industrializing uh you know um uh, classification uh for example the japanese they tend to hire people with a greater educational background jinki education properly ki gayi ho लेकिन फिर उनको वो हायर करके तो उनके ऊपर प्रॉपर उनकी ट्रेनिंग करते हैं और लॉन्ग टर्म कैरियर्स के ऊपर वो फोकस करते हैं Uh, on the other hand american recruiters they screen people for specialized skills and finally british recruiters they select persons with fit to job credentials and then train them according to the requirements so ye uh, teeno industrialized nations hain lekin still in mein mazid variations jo hain wo exist karti hain so there are various different types of techniques which are used for staffing recruitment and selection in different cultures